Anna will now demonstrate how to select and customize the Plus Optics S16 settings. Press the Power On button. It will take about 30 seconds for the device to complete its boot sequence. The screen will change several times during this period, including a momentary blank screen. This is the home page. From here, we can adjust the settings of the device or start a new measurement. Each screen is composed of a header bar, an information section, and a navigation bar. The header bar is like a title page and displays date, time, and a symbol for an active wireless LAN or LAN connection. The information section is where the main body of content is located. Shown here on the home page, the information section contains a timeline for a patient's age and years. The referral criteria are age-based, which is why it is very important to choose the correct age group. The navigation bar contains the Tools button in the bottom left corner and a magnifier to the right. Touching the Tools button will display the Settings page, while touching the magnifier leads to a page to enter patient data. The Plus Optics S16 Vision Screener has a 4.3-inch resistive screen. Resistive means it will respond to the pressure of your fingernail or a blunt pen tip touching the screen. Simply touching a button will activate the selection. If the device does not respond to the touch, the touch may have missed the button. The cursor arrow will show where the device sends the touch. Now touch the Settings button, and then the button for the basic settings on the top left. This is used to adjust the device operating settings. The top line is the cylinder value. Usually, this is left on the minus sign. Next is the volume of the warble sound, followed by the brightness of the screen adjustment. The last selection is the separator for data import and export. Notice that when Anna changes the volume, a green checkmark appears in the navigation bar. Touching the green checkmark saves any changes she has made. Touching the question mark button will show a list of useful training videos. You can learn how to prepare the measurement area and how to handle the device. Please note, watching the training videos does not replace reading the user manual. Anna can return to the home page by pushing the orange shutter button on the handle. The settings on this Plus Optics device are now set for optimal performance. Anna! Remember, it's a resistive screen. It will respond to the pressure of your fingernail or a blunt pen tip.